Hello and welcome everyone again to another video. On today's video, we have some Master League battles for the people who keep asking in the comment section about Master League battles. Do I still play Master League? I still do, to be honest. The problem with it is it just doesn't get that many views. So that's why I tend to play Master League less. I would love to play Master League more because I have so many good Pokemon. Like, I have a Shondo Dialga. Why wouldn't I be using this Pokemon? Why would I ever be using an Azu or a Tapu Fini instead of just playing like a this freaking... Uh, beast of a pokemon look at that amazing shiny into another okay i don't think i have a opponent having a 98 shiny groudon as well that's sick if i had a 98 shiny i would have actually insta insta max it out even if i already have a hundo build wait that's a shundo because mine is a hundo and they have the same cp 46 46 52 yo that's sick to be honest so uh they had the Zikram in the lead, so I decided to swap out because that is the only play I... That's the best thing I can do since we have two stuff in the back that deal with Zikram. Master League is still kind of an ABB league uh, because it's not ABB like sort of like, oh, ABB like something double dragon, double ground. No, ABB weakness wise. So if I swap out, that's because I have two better assets or because I need to bait out what beats my uh, Groudon. And if we look at this game here, look at that, guys. I actually tapped my move, and this is the second time that this thing happens. We're like, look at this. I'm tapping on my move. One, two. I tapped my move. The game showed that I tapped my move, but instead, I get a charge move. Uh, sorry, I get a fast move instead. This thing used to be common in the past, but... Not anymore, but now it, it's, it feels like it's back. And now we're just going to top left and move to the next game. Melmetal. This is a tough lead for both. Like, they bo we both hate it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to Brave Bird and then switch out. Because why not? Whenever the opponent switch something that can take a neutral from Brave Bird, you always Brave Bird and swap. Uh, opponent throwing fl Fusion Flare. I don't care, to be honest. I am not going to shield my Dialga. Because what the opponent did, they are trying to bait out my Dialga so they can uh, farm it down and beat it with Velmetal. And now I'm going to go Groudon and farm them all the way down. They get to the move, which is kind of annoying, but we're just going to shield this. So now what's the play here? They brought back the Melmetal. I think it's a uh, Zekrom in the back. So we just gonna pet surprise play this, doing so much damage, bringing back the Zekrom game Pokemon number two. Uh, so wait, we KO the Reshiram. Now we KO, KO the Melmetal. Now they have a third Pokemon. Opponent is triple weak to Groudon. So what's the Groudon gonna do? Pet surprise played everything. Okay, first third Pokemon here. So the Pet Spice played as well. And this Pet Spice played is supposed to KO the other thing. They brought back the Balmetal and opponent losing to one Pokemon. That's it. That's how insane Groudon is. Just don't get it locked in against the Kyogre and you will see. Zegard is technically also tough, but Zegard just beat everything. We just don't argue about that. And this matchup, it's better if you can get a debuff on the Sacred Fire, but I could swear I've never gotten a debuff here. Well, I do get a debuff, but it doesn't work against the Mewtwo. I always get it against the Alga, but I don't get it against the Mewtwo opponent catching on a Dragonite. I don't hate this for me. I would like this because I'm going to go the Alga now and I'm going to KO them before they get to a move. And this game should be a GG no matter what they have in the back. Uh, for, for now, I think it's very risky for the opponent to call a bait. So I will just bait because it's tough for them to no shield because that's just basically a game losing uh, situation. And now we're just gonna let this go. And since the end of charge, I was able to get to another move, which is good because now I can just mud shot them down and nuke their uh, Mewtwo in the back. Look at that. Another game where the Groudon is just sweeping. So is this enough for you to use a Groudon? Let's see. How about the next game? Because I think the next game is a horrible game. Giratina lead. This is where, like, people always ask me, how do you play Giratina lead? Always stay in and throw Brave Bird. Why? Because Brave Bird is neutral and it does lots of damage. They Shadow Bolt. I don't, don't do an Incinerate here. Don't do an Incinerate. I know it's bad timing, but here, one of the situations where you don't care about timing. Opponent is swapping out to Ho-Oh. And they were very generous and they let me get to the iron head. Usually if you are, oh, oh don't let the alga get to a move, insta throw. I'm not going to shield here because I don't want to. An opponent ended up 
under charging the move for no reason so we're just gonna get to another move and now they are in a very low health situation i am not going to shield this if this is a brave bird go for it oh my they actually went for it now we're just going for to fully much shot down this thing hopefully they don't get a debuff and look at this the, the game throws here so the game froze here, which means I didn't get a fast move, but my opponent did. So look at this. You can now you're gonna see it more clear. So when I when the game froze for me, I didn't get a fast move. They did get a fast move because I counted, and I'm like they aren't supposed to have it. So I'm going to throw a uh, fire punch here because I want to much shut them all the way down because I need all of these energy, and they ended up living with one HP. If I didn't get denied for a one much shot, I they should have died here. So now no, I need. Ah, <sighs> this is tough. There is no way we win this, right? Look at that. They have Avalog. <laughs> yeah, this game is GG. Call an ambulance! But not for me. Because Groudon is a beast. And that's how we end the set. Yeah, Groudon is just insane. Groudon is just too good of a Pokemon. Look at that. Killing three Pokemons in three games so far. I love this Pokemon. Okay, just don't use Kyogre, guys. Guys, please keep not running Kyogre, okay? The more people run Kyogre less. Uh, opponent having a Shadow Gyarados. Shadow Gyarados can actually beat Dialga if you get a defense drop on the Crunch. So they threw it. They get it. Good for them. I am not going to shield this. You know why? Because... Like, my Dialga is here to get me an advantage. And I get a shield advantage. This is where, like, you've seen Groudon. Groudon is good whenever, like, Petsupai's played is a neutral or super effective versus the opponent. Groudon suck whenever they have a flyer. So what I want to do here, Dialga has one job. I'm throwing Dialga. Get me a shield advantage. So now I have two. They only have one. And then Groudon will take care of the rest. So I'm going to go Ho-Oh, and now we're going to shield the Ho-Oh. We no longer have a shield advantage, but we have energy advantage. My Ho-Oh is loaded. Like, what could... Like, there is nothing in the bag they could have that would wall my energy. They have a Zapdos. Oh my, they even called the bait, but they realized, like, this game is GG. And I think that was the last battle. So yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Sorry for the short video. But yeah... Hopefully, this team is enough to convince you that Groudon is just too OP as long as people don't have Kyogre. So, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. This is the end of the video. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like on the channel, make sure to subscribe, and see you in the next video. Peace.